Hi, I'm Greg Caparaso. In this video, I want to show you some cool features of the Chang2 View website that I use on a regular basis to share work with collaborators. Chang2 View, which you can find at view.chang2.org, is a tool that allows you to view Chang2 artifacts and visualizations on computers that don't necessarily have Chang2 installed on them. The way that folks would typically use Chime 2 View would be to take, say, a QZV file that they have on their computer, drag it onto this box on the website, which would then allow them to view and interact with that result. Here you can see that I am working with one of our interactive taxonomy bar charts. Um, now, like I said, while that's the typical way that people use this, there are a couple of other very cool ways that you can, you can do this. One is that you can use Chime 2 View to generate links that you can share with collaborators to files that you have on Dropbox. Um, for example, if I navigate over to this Finder window, you can see that I have my Dropbox folder open. I have a directory here called Kaplan Crops with some 16S analysis results in there. And in particular, I have this file, alpharerefaction.qzv. Now imagine that I want to share this with somebody who doesn't have Chime 2 installed on their computer. I can right click on that file and come down here to copy Dropbox link. I'll click that and the, drop, the link to that file has now been copied to the system clipboard. If I go back to Chime 2 View, I can click this link for File on Dropbox. I can paste that link that I just copied and click Go. You can see, much like before, this will bring up a Chime 2 interactive visualization on Chime 2 View. Now, the really cool part of this is in the, uh, is in the way that it facilitates sharing. So if I were to either copy this, uh, copy this URL from the browser window or come over here and click on this chain icon and copy that shareable link, I can now come over to my email window and you can see that I've already started drafting an email to one of my collaborators. I can select some text. I can click this down at the bottom to add a link to this email. And now my collaborator, when he receives this email, will be able to click that directly and view the result that I'm trying to share with him. I can just show you a quick example of how that might work. If I click on this, you'll see that opens a new browser tab and it loads that result. So that's a very convenient way um, to be able to share results with collaborators. I will often, um, if I'm working on an analysis with somebody, I'll often generate a, a number of QZV files, put them in a Dropbox folder, and then share links with them in this way, where in the email, I'll describe what each of those results are that I'm sharing. An important thing to be aware of if you're using this functionality is that it does require you to store your data in a way that is publicly accessible on Dropbox. So if somebody gained uh, unauthorized access to that link that you just copied, they would be able to access that data. Similarly, if the security of the Dropbox servers were compromised, somebody might be able to access your data. So if you're very concerned about the privacy of your data, it's probably best to not store those files on Dropbox and therefore not use this functionality. If you are in that situation, you can share your files, um, your Chang2 QZA or QZV files with collaborators um, in another way, say for example by email or through um, a physical transfer drive. Um, and that would allow your collaborators to uh, take those files and drag them onto Chime 2 View as we did um, uh, earlier in this video without having to um, worry about security of Dropbox. Another way that you can use Chime 2 View 
is to view files that you might find on the web. And so if you have a link to a QZB file um, from the web, you can paste that in this box to load that on Chime2 View. Um, and so for example, if you are reading a Chime2 forum post, and you see some discussion about a QZV file and you're interested in, in seeing what it is the individuals are discussing, you can right click on that link, uh, select copy link address that might differ depending on what browser you're using. You can go to Chime2 View. You can paste that in this box and click go. And that will let you then view that result. Now that doesn't necessarily work with any link to a QZB file that you'll find on the internet, um, but you can find uh, some details by uh, clicking on this link to learn more. Now, the last thing I wanna mention about Chain2 View is that none of your data is stored on any Chain2 server when you use this site. So when you drag and drop a result or when you um, uh, load a file from the web, Chime2 View is just sort of acting as an application launcher that is allowing you to view that file on your computer. Um, but that file is not being uploaded um, to a Chime2 server or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about uh, data privacy when using Chime2 View. The exception based on what I've showed you here is of course, if you have a file in Dropbox, then your file will be stored on the Dropbox servers. All right, well, I hope this gives you some useful ideas for how you can use Chime2 View to facilitate your collaborations. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us on the Chime2 forum.